video on demand platform architecture functional requirements upload and view video multiple device support search recommendations non functional requirements low latency scalability high availability and so on at a high level we need to design for following functions user subscriptions upload video process video stream video fetch video catalog search events logging recommendations and analytics here are the services that we would need for every function a user service to save retrieve user subscriptions from a user database an uploader service to upload video content to a storage a messaging server to invoke downstream services like video processing in an asynchronous manner video processing service to transport videos as necessary a video packaging and streaming service to deliver content to playback devices via a cdn a catalog service to fetch video catalog from a catalog database a cache to store the catalog for quick access a search service to query index data a messaging service to capture all client related events like video impressions clicks searches and so on this data is sent to a storage for further processing a recommendation service to analyze large amounts of historical data to recommend suitable content for viewers an analytic service to process big data for a variety of reports and business intelligence this is the overall architecture where you can see interactions between various components services are modeled as microservices we will understand these in more detail soon this is the same architecture with aws services let's look at various components one by one microservices are deployed in containers orchestrated by ecs elastic container service you could model some of these as aws lambda functions as well for messaging we use amazon sqs and kinesis we will see their exact use cases shortly s3 is used for video storage while cloudfront is the content delivery network or cdn clickstream events data is also saved on s3 aws elemental media package is for packaging and streaming the video content databases are rds mysql for storing user related information amazon key spaces for storing catalog catalog contains information about all the videos available in the system note that key spaces is amazon managed cassandra catalog cache is maintained in memory db for redis amazon sage maker does machine learning and emr is for analytics let's look at some important service flows user service flow is highlighted here the user service receives requests related to user subscriptions and such it stores this information in amazon rds mysql an additional cache can be added alongside the database for faster access uploader service receives video uploads which are then placed in a s3 bucket and an entry is made in catalog database post that a message is placed in sqs queue so that downstream processing of the video can begin asynchronously another way to upload video files directly to s3 would be to use pre-signed urls video is processed in multiple steps by aws step functions let us first understand what comprises video processing steps we have two s3 buckets input and output a video is picked up for processing from the input bucket and then transported into a desired or a common format as necessary next metadata is extracted from the video like date created author data rate location etc and sent for storage and indexation next video is checked for sensitive content like violence copyright violations etc finally you can transcribe the video with subtitles in various languages and then the processed video is saved in the output bucket ready to be streamed on demand all of these steps are orchestrated by aws step functions let us see what tools we can use at each step aws elemental media convert can transport the videos while amazon recognition can extract metadata 
and check for sensitive content in videos. The metadata can be saved in database and ingested into open search using Lambda functions. Amazon Transcribe and Translate can help with subtitles. Let us see how the video is streamed from S3 to playback devices. AWS Elemental Media Package ingests video files from Amazon S3, then packages the content, formatting it in response to playback requests from downstream devices. It can dynamically package the content into multiple streaming protocols. In addition, it can provide DVR-like experience for viewers and supports a range of DRM or digital rights management providers. Here's a closer look at how this works. The important thing to understand here is the role of AWS Elemental Media Package. It dynamically packages the input video file into multiple supported streaming protocols like HLS, Dash and MSS depending on the playback device request. Advantage of using CloudFront here is that it can cache media segments at edge location and deliver content faster. Note that protocols like HLS and Dash are adaptive bitrate streaming protocols. In other words, the output stream is made up of a series of media segments, each up to 10 seconds long. This allows switching between various stream qualities easily depending on fluctuating internet speeds or user preferences. When client needs list of video titles to display, it sends request to the catalog service which fetches it from a catalog cache that is memory DB for Redis cache. In case data is not found in cache, it fetches it from the catalog database that is Amazon Key Spaces. Search service fetches data from OpenSearch. OpenSearch indexes video metadata and clickstream data. Video metadata is ingested into OpenSearch during video processing. We will learn more about clickstream data next. All client-side events in the form of click streams are captured for further analysis. These are sent to Kinesis data stream. From here, Kinesis Firehose ingests it into S3 bucket and open search. How do recommendations work? Amazon SageMaker, which is a machine learning service, deploys machine learning models to find the best videos to recommend based on users' history of viewing, searching, browsing, and so on. All of this data is captured via the events clickstream we have seen earlier. Amazon Elastic Map Reduce or EMR service can further analyze data in S3 to find important business insights. That brings us to the end of our discussion. This should give you a good idea of how to architect a video on demand platform.